Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about child routes. First of all, we will discuss what are the child routes. After that, we have to make some components and then we will define routes and links for these components so that we can use this component as a pages. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions. So let's start with the first question. What are the child routes? So as we know, uh, routes are basically used for creating the pages like uh, home page, about us page, user page and dynamic pages also, right? But sometimes we need some child pages also. For example, in uh, about page, you need some other uh, pages. Let's say about us page, about company page, about me page or about college page, etc. That time we basically use child pages. Uh, routing that simply means uh, it will use to define uh, pages inside the pages all right so now let's see how we can start so first of all we have to make some components open terminal and let's make the pages so we can just simply use here ngg for generate c for component and uh, let's say we are creating two component with the name of about company and about me and we will use these two pages as a child of about page right so let me create one more about me and here you can see that we have the two pages about company and about me also and uh, after that we can just close this terminal because we don't need it more so let me open now uh, app.routing.module and we have to define the child routes for specific component let's say we want to use these uh, two component obviously uh, we will use these uh, child components inside the about component so let me define here children inside the about component route so it will be basically an array and inside it we will use objects and every object have at least two properties one is path so we can just define here a uh, company for uh, about company so and uh, after comma we can just simply put here component on which component we want to load here so we will write here about uh, company so see guys if you are using visual studio code whenever you will start typing your component name it will automatically suggest if this is not suggest then keep in mind you have to just import uh, it manually like here you can see that right and after that with the same way let's define a page for uh, me also this is uh, above one for the company and uh, the below one for the about me component and this is also important here you can see that automatically so now you can see that everything is working fine there is a no error and now let's uh, open the about uh, dot component dot html because we have to define the links here so let me use here a tag and guys first of all let me add here h1 tag and just write here something uh, about everything like this and here you can see that this is working fine right or even if you want then you can use a small t it will be look like better and uh, let's define here some links let me add here uh, router link its name will be company which will be definitely it should be matched with the path and uh, let me use here any text uh, let's say about company and with the same way we can use one more tab let's say me will be its a link and we can just simply put here about me but now you will find that they are just very closed and we can just find the difference or you know, it's, it's like it's a single link so we are not going to make more style but we'll, we will just simply add here br tag and it will be uh, coming now inside the two uh, lines and uh, we also have to define here uh, router outlet keep in mind you must have to define this uh, outer uh, route outlet inside your parent component only so might be if your uh, parent component is uh, user or contact us that time you must have to define this uh, 
router outlet inside the respective page so now we are making the child component for about that's why we are defining it inside the, the about and now you will find that i'm just going to home it will working fine it, i'm just going to on a peter with the dynamic routing this is working fine 404 is also working fine whenever i just click on the about now it, you can see that this is the heading and we have the two more routes whenever i will just click on it you will find that about slash company will be there and here this is our child route and about me is also working fine with the route so with that way we can make the child route so if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel